Hello CrossFit and Conceivable and World. This is Coach Nate here. I am coming in with you for a general warm up. So um, the coaches have been doing specific warm ups for the workouts and um, we've been providing those every day as we uh, put the workouts up online. Now, there are a lot of you that are actually taking the initiative to do the workouts on your own, which is excellent. That's what we want. We want to cater to your abilities to learn how to exercise and implement workouts and learn um, about yourself in the process and kind of experiment and have fun and be creative. So that's awesome. We're really excited about that. And um, this video is just going to go over a couple of general points about warm-ups so that you can use these points when you're warming up for your workouts um, on your own. I mean, we do provide YouTube videos for warm-ups. We have multiple YouTube videos with warm-ups now. Uh, this would just be as a means of a general fly it to any workout and uh, you should be able to get pretty warm. So. I'm just going to go over today's workout quick and this way we can kind of talk about approaches to a workout when we're warming up. So for today we have wind power A, which is actually a structured warm up. Three rounds, 10 windmills, left leg, 10 single leg deadlifts, leg, uh, left leg, 10 windmills, right leg, 10 single leg deadlifts, right leg. So this is for quality. This is three rounds for quality. And this would just be a means of helping warm our legs up, uh, helping us find our balance, developing coordination. So I would look at this as an extended warm up. Now, this is also, you know, symmetry work, unilateral work. And this could always be incorporated additionally if you wanted to do other unilateral movements in a similar fashion, you could do twisting planks, you could do shoulder taps. Um, apologize for the wind here, I didn't realize it's gonna be so windy today. Anyhow, isn't that interesting? We're doing wind power, that's windy. The second warm up, uh, excuse me, the second part of this workout is nine minute AMRAP, 10 V ups, 10 broad jumps. Okay, so, and uh, after, uh, excuse me, five broad jumps. And after the five broad jumps, we do a reverse bear crawl. Um, so this is a nine minute AMRAP. This is more of your metabolic conditioning. You're gonna get your heart rate up a little more. You're probably gonna do a little more work, um, get your breathing rate up. So we have two different structures to work out. One is for quality. Here, we're doing this to, again, work unilateral movement, left, right uh, sides, also for balance, coordination, warming up the legs, stretching out the hamstrings from uh, yesterday's DT and then that'll get us nice and primed what this means okay um, and the general rules for warm-up basically if the workout is on the shorter side you should do a longer warm-up I would say a short workout is anything really under 10 minutes um, you know when you're getting past 12 minutes 12 to 15 minutes you're starting to get into the aerobic zone so your pacing at um, that time frame of 12 to 15 minutes and beyond, 20 minutes, oh geez, I'm not even in the picture here. 20 minutes, things like that, um, you're gonna be warming up as you go. The pace you're gonna go into the workout is gonna be more of an endurance pace from this, um, the nature of the workout. So you're not really needing to do as long of a warm up uh, especially when you're going 20, 30, 40 minutes. I mean, by that by that point, you can just do a really short warm up. Um, another thing where you don't need to do an excessive warm up would be something like uh, weightlifting or strength training, because um, you can just do a quick body weight warm up, and then you can warm up with the bar, and you can warm up with your sets. So if you're doing back squats, for example, you can uh, say you're doing sets of four. You can warm up with know a set of 10 with the bar set of eight with a little bit more weight set of six um, and slowly progress to more challenging weights 
So there's not a, a big need to warm up very long time for weightlifting workouts either. And especially when you have a warm up kind of incorporated already. And one way you can actually incorporate a warm up on your own is by adding a skill work. Uh, kind of 10 minutes of skill work. Right after you do a body weight warm up, work on a skill that you've been trying to accomplish. And that way you're passively still warming up, you're passively working, you're not trying to get as many reps as possible, you're not trying to, um, you know, uh, get as many rounds in for a shorter period of time and other structures of uh, metabolic conditioning workouts. You're just trying to develop a skill and keep keep uh, the warm-up going so that you're preparing your body for the workout and that's kind of general the generally the rules we're looking at warming up so short uh, workout long warm-up longer workout shorter warm-up and uh, you can still keep your warm-up technically short if you're adding in skill work or um, you're doing weightlifting where you're gonna be actually warming up within the work that you're doing. So those are the general warm-up rules. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm just giving you some structure and idea in case you're wondering if you're doing workouts on your own. Like, um, you know, we're posting the strength workouts, for example, on the website and you might want to warm up for those and then you're wondering what you should be doing. So this is kind of a general warm-up for the strength workouts and also um, a general warm-up for any kind of workout you want to do, uh, just know what the workout you're going to do is. And if it's on the shorter side, take a little more time, add in stuff like skill work, maybe add in a little bit of light strength work. Um, if there's strength movements in the workout, for example, you might want to warm up and do some strength right before it to prime your nervous system and get it ready to do the workout. Um, so those are the, just the general principles we go by as coaches uh, when we're designing warm-ups for workouts and I hope that helps you out. Thanks.